Thanks, Matt. In business news, the Rogue Valley Times is planning to cut back as part of a variety of changes at the corporate level. NBC5's Lauren Preto is live in studio after hearing about what the future holds for RV Times. Lauren. Andrea, Mark Cohen, RV Times interim publisher, says the newspaper is going from printing three times a week to two. And according to RV Times' own website, revenues have dropped and layoffs are needed. Cohen says changes like these aren't unexpected for a new company. Uh, startups take a little time, so we're just making some financial adjustments. We've always had challenges in our business, and, and we've always been, have been able to overcome those challenges. Uh, it's just a, a short, short term blip, unfortunately. Uh, but again, we believe that we can overcome some of these things. The Rogue Valley Times parent company EO Media Group operates 12 Oregon and Washington newspapers. It launched the RV Times in Medford barely over a year ago. The Oregonian reports 28 staffers will be laid off by EO Media Group while others will have their hours cut and it will seek a new owner. Interim publisher Mark Cohen tells us rising expenses are a problem. We uh, deliver via mail. Well, those mail costs have been out of the roof. Oh, uh, the other thing is uh, medical costs have really skyrocketed for us that we didn't anticipate that. But while Cohen says they're facing some unpredicted challenges, he also says restructuring isn't necessarily a bad thing. You have to rethink your content all the time, knowing your audience. And so we've got to make sure we're, we're adjusting that. And I'm sure we, we constantly have those discussions and we'll continue right now to say, OK, what shifts do we need to make here? Cohen says they haven't decided yet which day they will no longer print, whether it be Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. But he says by going down to two publications, they will have more time to make their two papers better and possibly improve their daily online presence. Folks are looking at uh, us digitally, right? We know, uh, and so we've got a very good presence there. We've got a growing audience online. Uh, we're picking up different demographics online that we didn't get before. Cohen says the RV Times plans to focus more on advertising revenue going forward to help combat some of their expenses. He says RV Times will continue to stay up to date with the community about any changes they make. Live in the studio, Lauren Preto, NBC5 News.